Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a mint and melon inspired eye tutorial. I am getting in the spring and summer mood and I am so excited to bring this tutorial to you because it is using a new eyeliner that I just got from Stila in this mint shade and it is fabulous. I am loving the mint. It is so springy and summery and it just makes me want to go out and drink a mojito or go cut up some cantaloupe. I'm just so ready for summer. I'm ready for glowy, sun-kissed skin. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look, then just keep right on watching. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off is I'm going to prime my eyelids with the NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk, which is just a creamy white. I just like to blend this with my finger because I find that it just works just the best to warm the product up a little bit because these are pretty stiff but the warmth of your finger really helps, you know, smush it all around to where it needs to be. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really fluffy brush, this is the Sigma e Tapered Blending E40, and I am going to take this matte, like, peach shade from Makeup Geek called Peach Smoothie, um, and I am just going to throw this into my crease and really just warm up the entire background to get our eye ready for some warm, warm color, some warm shadows. I really like this peach shade. It's just a really nice transition shade. It really warms up the crease. It's just beautiful for this spring summer look we're kind of going for here. And it pairs really well with the pigment I'm going to be using. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take an angled brush. This is the medium angled shading number E70. And I'm going to take this really warm brown shade. This is also matte. I forgot to mention the peach smoothie is a matte shade. This is Cocoa Bear from Makeup Geek. It is also very warm. And I am going to put this in my outer crease and blend. Um, just really staying out here and blending in my outer V. If you hear dogs barking or cars driving by, I have my window open because it is way too nice of a day to not have my windows open. So I apologize for the neighborhood ruckus. However, it is Saturday and it is pretty quiet out there. I like to use this angled brush in my outer V because I find it really just helps, you know, give my eye like it. The brush just helps get the shape right uh, for where I want to place the color. And I am just going to bring it in just ever so slightly. Nothing too crazy, but just to kind of blend the color in a little bit. Alright, now the next thing is the star of the show, and that is this uh, pigment I have. I have it in a small container because I buy the big one. And then I split it with my friends. Good tip. If you ever want to buy a MAC pigment, but you're like, I'm never going to use all that, buy the big pigment and then go in halves with your friend. This is totally in my face. Um, so this is the pigment called Melon. And it is absolutely stunning. This is what we are going to put on our eyes. And I am going to take a flat crease brush from Sigma. This is a large shader, E60. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus from MAC on my brush to get my brush wet and this is really going to help intensify the color of our pigment and it's going to give it kind of like a foiled look. So we're just going to take that little bit and our wet brush and we're just going to smush it all around, technical term there, smush, and take that and just start patting the color onto our lid. Now we are going to take this color from our lash line all the way up to the crease where we brought or where we put the peach smoothie color and then the cocoa bear color. Now I'm just going to go back in with this fluffy brush and just kind of blend out um, any harsh lines or any pigment uh, that got where it should not be. And then, of course, if you lose a little of the dark definition here, feel free to go back in. I'm going to with the angled brush in that Cocoa Bear shade and just deepen up that outer, uh, outer corner here. Okay, and now I'm going to um, highlight my brow bone in my inner corner, and I'm going to be taking the color Shimma Shimma by Makeup Geek in this Highlight Diffuser brush E71 from Sigma. And I'm just going to throw that 
up onto my brow bone here. It's a really pretty champagne highlight. And on my inner tear duct. Now we're going to move on to liner and I'm going to be using a chocolate liner because I don't really want too harsh of a line. I really just want to keep it really soft and feminine, very bronzy and just like melony, you know. And so this is just a brown liner. It's card called it's card. It's called dark brown and it's from Smashbox and I'm going to be applying that with a what is this? An eyeliner brush from Sigma, just an E05. I am going to create a Slightly dramatic wing just because the cat eye is in for this season, the spring, summer, and in my world, I just like the cat eye. And if you make a big mistake like I just did, that's why they sell these makeup remover wipes. They are a lifesaver. And here's a disclaimer for you. I will never brag that I can do an awesome cat eye. Because for some reason, some days I have really good days and other days I don't. So I'm going to spare you the pain of watching this and either fast forward or show you the end result. And now I'm just going to take that same gel eyeliner and throw it on my lower lash line um, and line my inner rim. And now we are going to curl our lashes. And I am going to be applying some mascara and some false lashes. So you don't have to worry about like the mascara because I'm going to be putting on some lashes. I am just going to use um, the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara for my top. And then my, as always, Holy Grail Mascara for my bottom lash line, which is the Maybelline Lash Discovery. It has a very small wand like this. So I'm going to fast forward through this portion and um, we will move on to the next step. Okay, the next step that I'm going to do, and you can skip this step if you're not uh, savvy or enjoy false lashes. I just enjoy false lashes and I like the effect of the false lash. So I am going to be applying, my box came apart, but these are the Color Impact Lashes from Ardell for Blue Eyes. And they are number 110. Let me just show you here if I can get the package back together. Oh my goodness, I tell you what. Package looks like this, number 110, and they have they these are the wine um, lashes. And now for the best part, we are gonna take this new Stila smudge stick in the color uh, mint julep, and I am going to smudge this underneath my lower lash line. This is so, you guys, this is gorgeous. Like you think mint eyeliner? I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, you can. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, you want to talk about a refreshing, beautiful, stunning color? This is it. So I'm going to draw it first. I'm going to take a pencil brush from Sigma E30, and I see this one is kind of not clean. No way to go, Chelsea. And I'm just going to soften up the actual line here with the brush. Because after all, it is called a smudge stick, right? I challenge you to do this with keeping your mouth closed. It's impossible. Okay, and then you can just clean up any sort of excess uh, fallout, uh, pigment, glitter, shadow, whatever else is falling onto your face with a wipe. I just use these ponds. These actually have like little scrubby things on them. Look at that. Kind of cool. Okay, I don't know if you can tell if I'm just showing you a nasty, dirty... Tell it. Okay. <laughs> Next, we are going to do the face. And I've actually already did my um, primer because I wanted to spare you. My face is really broken up. So I used the Hourglass Primer and then I just threw a little bit of the L'Oreal BB Cream even though you just saw me wipe it off right here. Not a big deal. I just wanted to cover up some of the extra areas where I needed some serious help. So I've already done that and now we're going to go in foundation. I am going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Uh, I'm in the shade W3. This is my favorite drugstore foundation. It's a beautiful finish. And then I'm going to apply it with the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80. It is my favorite and only uh, brush that I use to apply my foundation. 
So I'm just going to throw this on. I really like the finish of this foundation because it's very like luminous and glowy. Okay, foundation is done. Let's move on for, wait, let's move on for it. Let's move on to our concealer. This is the NYX HD concealer in the shade Fair. Let me fix my mirror. And we're just going to conceal our under eyes. This is a great inexpensive concealer. It truly is. If you don't have like major dark circles going on, um, this is this really works well. I like this concealer a lot. And it's like five or six bucks. And I use a damp beauty blender for my concealer because I find that, you know, my under eye area is really starting to crepe a little bit. And my, th my skin is really thin and I have drier skin. So... I find that a really moisturized uh, beauty blender just does the trick. We're going to set that with just a very, I learned this from Wayne Goss, Goss makeup artist here on YouTube. He is an actual makeup artist. I am not. <laughs> um, but I have a passion for makeup. So I am just going to, he said to just take the smallest amount of powder. Tap off your brush. Look at that. It's like a cloud. And just very lightly tap to really make your concealer stay in place. You don't need to go crazy. Next we are going to bronze up our face and I'm going to take this Laura Geller. I love this bronzer. I really do. It's the Bronze and Brighten and Fair and then I use my Holy Grail, um, what is this, a contour brush, that uh, small contour F05 from Sigma and I always like tap off the extra so that you know you don't go to do it and you get like a giant blob of like a brown streak up your face um and I'm just going to contour up my face here and take it up onto my apples and my cheeks just a little bit since we are kind of you know doing a bronzy type look here bronze up our forehead which I totally accidentally got fried yesterday when I was out running and so my forehead's like already a natural uh, bronzy red glow here. So I was trying to conceal that um, prior to doing my eyes because it's like, holy cow, someone forgot to wear sunscreen. Not a good deal, not a good idea. I always want to wear sunscreen. And then for blush, I'm going to be taking this blush from NYX called Cinnamon. Check that out. And I'm going to use the large angled contour brush from Sigma. I love this blush. It's like orange and like, I don't know, it's like a, how do I describe it? It's like a coral blush, but it's a little bit more orange. Is that the right word? Anyways, just put this on the, kind of on the backs of my cheeks, not so much on the apples, but kind of on the backs of my cheeks. And blend backwards. Now I am just going to take a little bit of MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter, which oh, I just recently got this, and I'm so late to this bandwagon. And this is just an e.l.f. blush brush, but I like to use it as a uh, highlighter brush. Oh, this is such a beautiful highlighter. Absolutely stunning. Just do it a little bit in a C motion here down the bridge of my nose, lips. All right, last thing, lips. We are going to be taking the NYX um, Lip Liner in Pumpkin and lining my lips. And then the Revlon Lip Butter in the shade Tutti Frutti, which I really like these lip butters. They're perfect for on the go, quick application, touch up. And they're stunning. They really are. They feel great on their lips. And then I like a little bit of shine, which these already kind of have a shine, but I need more. So <laughs> this is the Milani Lip Gloss in the shade uh, Mai Tai. And this is the new, the newer ones. I forget what they're called. But it just goes absolutely perfect with the Tutti Frutti. It's like a liquid version of the Tutti Frutti with a little bit of iridescence. The last thing I'm going to do is lock and load her up with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus or a setting spray. I like this because it keeps me dewy. And of course, the fanning motion, a necessary component, a little hair fluff, and that is all she wrote. Um, this is just what I'm calling a melanin mint. I mean, it's just, you have the really gorgeous mint underneath and then the melon pigment, of course, just with some really warm browns and 
Got some coral action going on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to continue to see more like seasonal inspired looks or looks around like summertime. I'm going to be doing some more summer glowy type of looks because I really personally enjoy them and rocking them on a daily basis. So if you guys don't follow me yet on Instagram or Twitter, my links are below. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.